In this tutorial, we'll add our own custom creative tab to Minecraft. Let's see how to do that. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more, and this is going to be a quick one, but no worries, it's still going to be really interesting. We're going to add our own custom creative tab in the code that would be called the item group. And for that, we'll locate our item package right here, right click new Java class, and we'll create a new Java class called mod item group. And it will have only one thing in it, a public static final item group called Ruby. And this is equal to fabric item group builder dot build with a new identifier. Now the identifier should already be known to us. This will take the tutorial mod mod ID and a particular name. In this case, we will actually have to sort of hard code the, the string here. This will be Ruby. And then down here, this will take a supplier of an item stack. So this is a new item stack type mod items dot Ruby. So what does all of this mean? So first of all, the identifier we've seen previously in both the items and the blocks that we've made, this simply determines where this is located and what the name of it is. And the supplier of the item stack here, this is needed for the texture that is displayed in the tab. So our Ruby will be displayed on the tab in the creative menu. And then let's add this to both the blocks. So down here in the register block item, we will choose mod item group dot Ruby. And the same in the item for our Ruby here, we will choose mod item group dot Ruby. Both the Ruby and the Ruby or will be located in our custom creative tab. Let's also go into our lang folder and we will add the item group dot tutorial mod dot ruby to it and this will be the ruby mod let's just call it like that so when we hover over the tab then this will be displayed as the name this is the same that you've seen with miscellaneous for example if we hover over it then we will actually get a tooltip where it's written miscellaneous so this is also why we needed the identifier this of course sort of reflects that once again yeah but that actually is all that we need so let's see if it works all right we found ourselves in minecraft once more and let's see and this is already a very good indication this little arrow here already shows that this will have worked and as you can see ruby mod ruby mod with our ruby as its icon and we can still take out our ruby Ruby and our Ruby or so no worries there. And that's actually how easy it is to add a custom creative tab to Minecraft. Like always, the code is linked in the description below. Hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would of course appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this. And I will see you in the next tutorial. So yeah.